All right, today where I'm going to do a little bit of testing from a resistive standpoint. Instead of going into a grid tie inverter or into a battery, I'm going to try to generate the graph for my one panel that I got connected up. I have an 80 watt panel that I've decided to test today. Um, I've got my computer with my watts view circuit to sense the voltage and the amps. I have <coughs> the panel positive coming in going through the current probe on the watts view over to the first 2 ohm resistor. This is a 200 watt resistor comes through this yellow wire it'll connect up to here in a second then the other side here is the ground or the negative side <coughs> I have the power leads or I should say uh, this white wire then goes to the negative side of the solar panel and uh, I've got the black wire here going to the voltmeter side of the watts view and this red wire going to the positive side of the voltmeter on the watts view and so what it's reading right now it's got the voltage it's measuring I've got the panel connected up the only thing I haven't done is close the circuit so current can flow so this is what's called the open circuit voltage on this 80 watt panel now we've got a pretty good sunny day today you can tell <clears throat> And so hopefully we'll get some current flowing. So let me connect it up. Now these wires are good for about 7 amps. And since I'm only running 80 watt panel, I should be only doing uh, no, no more than maybe uh, 4 amps, 5 amps. We'll connect it up here. I got a little spark. I'm sitting on a brick here because these are guys are going to get hot. They're going to dissipate the whole 80 watts if we end up getting 80 watts today. <clears throat> so you can see uh, we the voltage has dropped down to 13.3 and the watts is sitting at 42 right now. And I'm uh, dissipating or I'm, I'm I mean the, the uh, amp flow is 3.2 amps. So I'll... Uh, monitor this through the day <clears throat> and I'm logging the data you can see I'm logging it up here so we should be able to collect some good data from a solar panel doing resistive load testing to see where it leads us alright <clears throat> you can see I've been running for uh, quite a few hours here now the uh, 80 watt panel has been peaking out here at about 65. I think I need to put a little heavier load on it to get that current up. So <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, I have another variable. I bought three of these variable resistors. I have now this, and these are set up uh, just end to end. I have this variable one shortened up here so I'm gonna put that in there and uh, have you know replace this one here that one's too hot right now so I'm gonna take the camera off and do that and I'll show you in a second I also you can tell I doubled up on the wires they were getting a little bit soft because I am I am uh, putting some good current through here we get the current up Yeah, so <clears throat> four amps, pretty consistent, and that's enough to give these wires a little bit of trouble. So I doubled up on all of those. All right, be right back. All right, I just connected up this <clears throat> other resistor here. Um, these are two ohms each, end to end, but if you use this sliding tab here, <clears throat> I can get this. 2 ohm or all the way down to 
zero ohms basically or anything in between. By having four ohms I can test a certain range of panels. If I have <coughs> a smaller panel where you don't want to have as much current going through it, I can add this third one in there. Ouch, that sucker's hot! <coughs> so I bought three of these power variable power resistors so I can pretty much set up testing of a small panels through larger ones. So I'll do a I'll do a spreadsheet on that here in a minute. Now I'm just checking to see <coughs> how my uh, see if my amps are going to creep up a little bit here versus the volts versus the watts. See if I get a little higher out of there because I'm, I've got less resistance in series. So that should mean the, the current should go up maybe closer to the theoretical max for these for this particular panel. <clears throat> Again this panel is a, a number of years old so it loses a little bit of its uh, potential. But anyway it's fun to experiment. We'll look at this a little bit later. Suns, we still got some clouds here so you can see it's trying to push up here. Maybe we'll get over 70, closer to 80 once the sun gets a little closer to the perpendicular with the panels. And I may even uh, tweak that resistor down a little bit further. See if that makes a difference a little bit later. Alright, we're still putting out 6570. I'm going to... Uh, Shorten that resistor up a little bit more and we'll try it again. Alright, got it shortened up. Not seeing any difference. I did look at the short circuit current spec on this panel and it's 5 amps. Oh, look at that. We're getting up to 5 amps now. That's cool. Actually, 4.5, sorry. So, but it definitely did increase when I shortened that resistor up just now. I'll let it run for a little bit here. Get back on my readouts. Yeah, we're up to 4.4. Four. It's kind of interesting. Might have to try it a little bit more. Well, look at there. <clears throat> I've got it down to just a 2 ohm resistor and I'm getting my full 5 amps out of it. But it's not given the full watts. But that's all the uh, that's all the current I'm going to get out of this thing. It's 5 amps. You can tell it's it's holding the voltage down. So I obviously have got too much resist. I got only two ohms on there, so I'm going to have to get it back to where it was. See if I get the power up a little higher here. All right, here we go. Now I just have, I got two ohms here, and maybe one ohm here, a little less than that. I can measure that afterward. Plus, there's a little bit of resistance in the panel. Now I'm at about 64 watts, 4, 6 amps. Given the sun, the sky's got a little milky to it, but I think this is pretty pretty good. I got the voltage back over uh, 12. The maximum, <coughs> I think the the max or the voltage it should be getting the maximum power point is at uh, 17.4. So I s probably still have too much of a load on here. <clears throat> I should get that voltage up to that 17 point. So let me uh, tweak it a little bit more. Okay I got it up to the <clears throat> I just put the full 2 ohms on or 2 and 2 so 4 ohms and the voltage is 16. I don't think I've been getting any higher than that. Amps at uh, 3.9 so this might be as much as I'm going to get out of these panels today. Uh, but anyway, it's kind of interesting seeing that effect <clears throat> of putting a heavier load, resistive load on it. 
and seeing what the impact is on the volts and amps and the associated watts. So I'm going to craft this out, see what it tells me. Probably the ideal thing is to have that voltage up there as close as I can to 17. <clears throat> Okay, I'm up in that mid-17, I got 3.2 amps, so I got the 2 ohm resistor, I got another 2 ohm resistor, and then I got a little piece of this one to give me uh, probably like 4.2 4 ohms of load, get that up on the brick here, they get hot, and uh, You can tell it's it's not necessarily giving me more power because I got the voltage up. We were doing 60 something earlier. So let me change that back. That one's out of the picture. Just running with two ohms or four ohms total, 63 watts. That's probably as good as we're going to get today. We'll look at my watts here. <clears throat> yeah, so I was getting up to seven here earlier, 65 right now alright that's enough for today bye